Hello and welcome back to Truck and Logistics. We are back in the uh, static box uh, trailer truck. We're in the Scania. We did a quick job in between. It's still the same day for me. Uh, we did a quick job. It was it was literally just a quick job running from one end of the town to the other end of the town. We got paid two grand, I think. Yeah, we're at twenty four thousand. So in fairness, that is probably ne nearly enough to buy us a, a different vehicle. But we're going to keep trucking on because we want to have a little bit more fun in the box before we move on. Uh, we need to try and find ourselves a job here. I think we can get one actually in here. Looking at that down on my mini-map that I'm probably sat in front of for you. I think we've got a wee one over here. We have beautiful stuff beautiful booth now we're gonna go with um a we're gonna go with a single and then if we I'm trying we're gonna get a second job in and we're gonna do the double uh see how that works out for us um it's quite a long one i mean we do want the money Let's go in a different way to a different city. I think we've been in. Again, I'll pan out because we don't see the map very often. Uh, this is like the big city. Then you've got the, uh, the smaller ones down here. Um, we need to get a vehicle that's going to get us some some of the yellow ones because they are the construction size. That gets down in the quarry here. Uh, there's a quarry bit down here. and what have you. Probably some down there to drop off to. Quarries can be quite confusing once you get in them. But anywho, I think we'll take this job. It's seven grand. It's um, 5k. That'll do us nicely. Back in the super loader. Oh, we got, have we got a different cargo? Or is it? I don't think it's the same bricks as we've had before. I mean, it's generally bricks. The last one I had was bricks. Why don't they start you with the uh, with the pallet fork in the right position? Oh, can you stack them? Is that a thing? Can we do that? Let's have a little play around, shall we? Oh, if we can stack them, that'd be awesome. Stacked. Probably, probably break the game trying to load this in now. But can we lift it for starters? Oh, they listen to it. Why? Doesn't like it. She does not like it, and I can't see what I'm doing. But we're going to give it a crack. Turn, 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 turn. Turn. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Feel like we're sliding in the back here. Okay. What's that going to do for the unload? How is that going to register that? It does register the two. How's it going to. Oh, it's going to slide it out the bottom. Oh dear. Shame. Shame, shame. All the way down. We'll uh, we'll grab this one the wrong way. Just because we're on it that way. It should still stay on, I think. It's weighty enough. Just checking that the uh, recording's not died on me yet. Last one died on us early. Beautiful. Wow, that was fun. <laughs> I, I like this. We're in our truck. Instant teleportation. Not to grumble at that. Uh, we started about four-ish in the morning, I think. So she made it's about quarter past, twenty past four, I think. Maybe a little bit later. Depends on how long they, they deemed me to have taken to do that. But we're off. 
have your lights on because you should have your lights on when you're out on deliveries. Them be the rules around here. Working lights. Let's turn that back so I can use it again. Yeah. Let's go. But yes, as you can probably tell, I am enjoying myself with this game. I'm having a lot more fun than I thought I would, knowing like the roots of where it came from. But it is it is a fun little one. Let's say it's it's very casual. It doesn't I don't think it takes itself too serious. Uh, like I said, it's not trying to be ATS, it's not trying to be ETS. I'd liken it a little more to Truck Driver, if you ever played Truck Driver. I, I have Truck Driver on the console. That was, I think that was, that, again, that was a fair enough game. You know, you had the, with that one you had the fuel management, your sleep management, time management on, on, dro on um, deliveries, on jobs. On drop off, so I don't know what word I was going to say to start with, like a combination of all three of those. On drop offs. Yeah, I did mind that. I haven't played it on PC. Whether I go back and get an old cheap copy of Truck Driver and see how it feels. There's quite a few of the old truck games that I wouldn't mind trying. You know, the 18 Wheels of Steel and stuff like that. Or even grabbing an old copy of uh, the first ETS and just seeing how that was because I never played it. Played a few of the, the console trucking games and then moved over to ETS uh, three years ago and then probably about a year later grabbed ATS. And I've been, been pretty pretty hooked on the, uh, the mate. Seriously, this is what we're dealing with. This is what we're dealing with. They do not register you. By the way, I haven't looked to see if my chair is lower, so I'm still looking up to you when I when I want to look to camera. Make eye contact with the audience. Let them connect with you emotionally. <laughs> oh dear. Next thing you know, I'll be sticking my gormless face in my thumbnails. Like that. <laughs> oh dear. I don't think I've ever clicked on a thumbnail that has a face in it like that. Just not unless it's there satiric, satirically? Yeah. Satirically. Something like that, anyway. How are we for fuel? We're doing fine for fuel as well. Brilliant. Very economic. We don't have any electric vehicles. And I tell you what. Again, for being the lower end of simulation and being console orientated, I think it's console orientated in a way that it's made. And the fact that it, it, this game, I believe, is on PC, uh, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, Xbox Series, Switch, and I believe, uh, much too many in the community's uh, grumblings from what I've seen. Um, working on a mobile version as well, rather than like DLCs, sort of serious updates for what's already here. Um, but that's why the improved driving physics mechanics and, and stuff is quite nice to get recently because we know that they're working on a mobile version as well. I think, for, considering it is a game that's for all of them, it's just, it's just pretty cool. But yeah, I was saying. Um, it matches my wheel movements better than farm sim. Uh, it's not lost sync at all. I've had um, even quite recently with uh, ETS2, and I think on ATS as well, where my wheel locked at around about 25 degrees off center. So I was my wheel was turned like this, but I was driving forwards. Yeah, that was that was really awkward. I've not had that at all um, in in NASCAR. The wheel just does not register half the time. Like it'll either have me, I turn 45 degrees and we get 180 degree lock, or if I turn anything over 45 degrees, we seem to jump to like 90 to 100 degrees pretty quick. So it's like all or nothing suddenly, which is quite annoying no matter how I set it. 
but since I've set this wheel, you know, I jump out and I do things over on the other screen with a mouse and I come back in the game, it's loose for like half a second, not even that. As soon as we get going, the, uh, the feedback kicks in, the, uh, the centre spring tightens up really quickly and it's back to how it should be. Which impressed me. I was expecting to be like flimsy spinning the wheel and losing control. It just feels, it feels, to be fair, it feels better than it looks. I don't think it looks that bad. Again, for a game that you can pick up for about £20. £20 sterling. Oh, that was annoying. We had another little cordon issue, so hopefully I caught that quick enough. Um, I was covering the price. So shall we pretend and I can edit it in? So that's like 25 euros. 25 dollars. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. OBS is giving up on me today. I haven't even been recording a lot. Perhaps it's because I'm not recording what I should be recording. Uh, it's like, no, mate, you should be farming right now. You should be farming for six hours to make 20 minutes of content for 30 people to watch. <laughs> I laugh, but it does hurt. It does hurt. And I'm having fun on this, so... Who cares? And you never know, this could be a little bit like Move on the Road. If not, many people are covering it. You never know when you're going to pick the audience up. I know um, Ellipse Gamer, he plays it. I think the content does alright for him on his channel, for a channel his size. Which isn't too dissimilar from a channel of my size. If I could put this out and pull numbers close to what he gets, that would be amazing. I mean, the farm sim views look pathetic. <laughs> uh, yeah, because they are. You've got 3,000 subscribers and you only get 100 views. Come on. Come on. What's it about? Oh, we're getting some some inertia but we're not so 70 oh man we've got to remember we can't do no more than 90 we will get <laughs> get bummed by <laughs> the speed camera down to 50 there we go it's amazing what having glasses does for my gameplay sometimes I can actually see stuff it's insane Sometimes I sit and I watch telly, and I just lift them up every now and then, and I just say, why, why did I think that that was the normal sort of view? Because I, I knew it weren't, but I didn't realise it was as bad as it was. Like, I knew it was bad, but not that bad, if, if you get me. If you get me, bruv. Stop. Thank you very much. You're going to whip in here. Hopefully we've got a pick up Jobby close by. We're not bad there. Not bad at all. Whip that round. Oh, look at that going in down there. Ah. Oh, that was nice. <laughs> 400 extra as well, so 7,423 on the Jobby. We're getting 563 XP. If you know what the XP is for, let me know, because there is nothing that implements XP at the minute within the game. So we've got to pick up from the same spot. So we dropped off bricks. I bet we go and pack some bricks. <laughs> we'll pack up the same bricks and move them somewhere else. Load variations is what would be nice. We can get some load variations. That's 11, 10... Our first time doing a double, shall we uh shall we go big or go home sort of thing? Oh, yeah. I think I'll take that route, that looks alright. Stick into the to the main road and then down off into there. That looks that looks doable for us. Plus it's not so fragile. 
and not so heavy. And it'll just be under 10 grand. Plus, we'll, if we park it right... Oh, God, no, how do you park it? Uh, yeah, parking could be a thing. But yeah, we could we could get a bonus on that and make that 10 grand. Okay, and a quick refreshment before we get started. This is uh, heavy work. So as you can see, we've got two trailers. So I think it's... Is it three... Two by the looks of it, let's put the uh, all the way down, let's not catch it out. There's three over that side, that says three and three. I don't think it is, I think it's three and two. I was going to stack them, but I don't think I will, we've got a lot of, got a lot of pallets about. Although it would make it easier, wouldn't it? Just to, what would have been easier? is if I stuck these two in the other one. Oh, there is three. There we go. Three and three. I didn't think the box on the back was going to be quite the same size as us. But it is. Somewhere behind us there is a step. Like, oh no, I think this is a flat warehouse. This is alright. So if I just poke my, my tongs in, slide us into it. Oh, beautiful stuff. It's so naughty. It's mad how much I'm enjoying this. <laughs> I just want—I want to get on a multiplayer and just sit in a warehouse loading up other people's trucks for them, please. Is that possible? If anyone's played this and tried the multiplayer, can I be a forklift guy and just the forklift guy, or at least a forklift guy for everyone, and then we all go out and deliver together? Is that doable? Or do we all get forklift truck? then just race around like loonies with them and then eventually load them up our vans I do like that the the insides of these warehouses have been a little bit different although the, the loads aren't you know greatly varying it'd be nice if we were picking up some different goods but the inside of the uh, the, the warehouses the depots they've been a little bit different there we go so that one's now open. So we couldn't have, maybe, maybe we couldn't have filled that one up first. Shame, 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 shame. I think I've pushed the other pallet in the way as well now. We might have to double it. Just to get in. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Ooh, uh, just a little bit. Ooh, uh, a little bit more. Oh, this is the life for me. I'll scrape along the, <laughs> the box roof, but... So I'm... <laughs> so I'm impressing myself. I am a little bit. Can't lie. I'm taking to this a little bit easier than I thought I would. Last box. Last box, last pallet. Old bricks, old red bricks. Overshot. It's not a pleasant day out there for the lads that are stuck in the warehouse. Just peeking out at the morning sunshine. Oh, as if. Overcorrected. Overcorrected. And winning no races with that. No way, Jose. Or Hose B.
bit later on, I want to get. I don't really use forklifts on farms him. Just use a front load of fork on something. Might try and get some forklifts on the go on farm sim and see yeah, what the difference is. Alright. Sorry, I can feel the sweat beading on me now. I do apologise. You can see it. Back up a bit slower onto this. There we go, we can attach. Put the head on straight. There we go. Bear with me one second. Okay, we are good to go. Should we have a little look at the load? Oh, look at that. Look at that. That is a beast. An absolute beast. Yeah, boy. There is some weight. Some weight in there. This could be a 10 grand delivery we are sitting on 32 so we could have over 42 grand which you know could mean another vehicle next time out or at least you know, very soon We're gonna have to go wide. Oh, we got out without collision. Nice. I think 50 is um, inner city speeds. And I'll stay out wide as well. So get up to speed. Now, with the weight of the trailer now, the gears are sort of getting a little bit revvy underweight. I'm noticing the difference anyway. Oh, thank you. Praise be to the light gods. That was beautiful. Not sure what the, uh, the speed bump was all about, but we managed it. All right. There we go. Up on the freeway, on the motorway, on the whatever you call it. Got some grass coming through there. Just let the mapper know we've got some grass coming through the road. Can someone? <laughs> it's game breaking. It's game breaking. Report it in the Discord. Uh, uh, uh. Lighthouse down there. I bet there's a crate to collect down there at the lighthouse. There's gonna be in there. We need to get ourselves. A, a pickup truck, a 4x4, and just go off exploring the map, I think. Reminds me, in an episode or two, that we said we were going to do that. I think I was going to pull over to give him space, but I was going really slow. Is that the one you have to yeet yourself onto? Is That's not a ferry, is it? That's a, that's a cargo ship. I lost my trailer fall. I do apologise. If I was saying something just then, before I spot the cargo ship, I do apologise. I have completely lost it. What were we talking about? <laughs> what was I talking about? Yeah, going off, um, exploring around. Yeah, that's what we do. Oh, I th <laughs> Dementia. Um, I think there's a hundred. I'm sure there's a hundred um, golden crates. It's mad that we've only seen one and we can't get to it. A hundred golden pallets. Uh, scattered about the map. So, you know, it would be nice if we could go off and find them. Excuse me while I just sort my earpiece out. Talk to Mission Control. So just, just scanning. Don't let scan. When I'm quiet, you know, you see me just like, Ew. I'm scanning, looking for a gold crate somewhere. Just off somewhere. Like, if there's a hundred of them, I think we should have seen more than one. Now, when I was watching Ellipse, he did a jump to garage by a truck come out. And opposite from where they respawned him, just sitting opposite him from respawn, was a crate. I don't know whereabouts he was on the map. Gotta be careful on the windy bit now, because we are pulling our load. 
the man's got a big load. Back to Look at that! We're getting wobbling in front. <laughs> if you missed it, rewind a little bit just as we came over the crest. It was swaying, but like I was driving. Another little lighthouse over there. Should we get a little um, out of cab again? Yeah, that's big boy. <laughs> I'm having so much fun. It's just so chilled. It's proper relaxing. Again, we're sort of occupying most of the road just so we don't get traffic either side. You can't even see if anyone's behind us. The mirrors aren't that bad, I don't think. Like the the render is a little bit, you know, close. It's not the pop in, it's the pop out. But they do a good job. I can see roughly what's sort of going to be behind me. And many games release without working mirrors. And I believe working mirrors were there at release for this title. Uh, I said it was like two years old. It's not, it's four years old. It came out in 2020. I don't know why. I didn't even hear about this until about two years ago. So it must have been bad. I thought this came out like two years ago. Yeah, 2020 was this release. Because it had a little look. And its Steam reviews are still quite mixed. But that's how, that's how it is. When you have a little bit of a rough launch, you know, only dedicated reviewers are going to come back and, uh, you know, edit their review for once you've done up improvements, upgrades, and patches. Once you've fixed all the things that were the problem. I know I don't go back and review. If something launches pretty crap and I brought it, you get crap beyond fresh. Launch games in working condition. Launch complete working games. It's that simple. It's what they always had to do. When games, before there was internet connections to everything, you know, your PS2, your PS1, uh, you know, your Xbox One. And, and older games that launched on cartridge. Like, if if the game weren't in working condition, if it was broken, if it was missing bits, you were screwed as a publisher. You were screwed as a developer. I am I am so fed up with lazy game development, whether it be through lazy development or from overly rushed publishers and marketers and whoever investors want their money back. I am so fed up with it. Like, I do not buy games new. I don't. Even the good ones, I don't. But the, the only games I've brought on release recently, I think the most recent one probably would have been um, Expeditions. And there was nothing wrong with that. Um, I just haven't had the time to do it. I don't think there was as much interest in it. As uh, maybe I was hoping, there are a few people that are interested in it. I'd love to go back and finish doing it like I would everything else that I've started, and at some point I will. But prior to that, I think the, the previous game that I brought at launch or pre ordered would have been um, Farm Sim 22. And the next one that I'll probably pre order, uh, and, and not until right before, because there's no need to, you get the same benefits by pre ordering the night before as you do by pre ordering now. Is uh, yeah, we've found some 25. So, which way they want us to face forwards? So, let's see if we can do that. Let's see if we can do that. Get in that spot, we should be able to. I mean, I can't get both trailers in here, really. Oh, turns out that is what they want. Um, loading bonus and parking bonus. Awesome. So it's an extra 500 on that.
I'm sorry, I thought we would get more. I thought this was a 9-7. Or was it 9-7 possibility? And it had already taken into account the possibility of the, the 500 bonus. Oh, that tricked me. That tricked me. That's naughty. It's dirty. Is the, is the record still going? It is. <laughs> oh, dear. But that was pretty cool. Um, enjoyed that. Had fun with it. Yeah, this isn't. This is. This is not bad. Again, I am enjoying the game. Hopefully, you're enjoying it with me coming along doing this. Um, that is going to be it for this one. Just in case you hadn't noticed. And uh, next time out, we'll probably do a couple more single, maybe another double loads with this. Try and get a little bit more money, and then we'll see in the episode after probably um, if we've got enough money to uh, purchase another vehicle and try something else out I'd like to go with something smaller next time uh, possibly the the flatbed truck I, I forget what they call it on this but yeah the flatbed truck and uh, see what we can do with that um, so yeah hopefully you have enjoyed this one if you have give it a big fat thumbs up down below if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button, turn your bell notification on, find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. I do like feedback. Let me know what you think of this game. Have you tried it? Is it something you'll be willing to give a go having seen it? Um, do you know where any of the boxes are? That'd be nice. <laughs> Need that money. Um, but you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you for your support. And hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.